I think that language is one of the defining features of culture. Um, I remember, I don't remember which movie it was exactly, I believe it might have been Brazil. Um, it was a science fiction movie, I think it was Brazil. They talk about cities like New York, Y-A-W-K, or Frisco, and my teacher said, why do they do that? And I, I thought for a second, and I, I didn't really understand. Um, and then I remember some other student mentioned it's because um, when you take a word like that, you shorten it for efficiency, just like they do in 1984. You're showing what you value in a society. If you value efficiency and you change the language, that means that you're willing to sacrifice the culture and the history and everything that's gone into that language for efficiency. And that's a prioritization of society. Um, I think that there's a language like that in engineering, where if you look at what's being said and the way that's said it, it's all very precise. Every, all the language in engineering is more so focused to get an exact result every time, independent of, I guess, feeling and emotion and a lot of the other kind of historical significance that you'd see in a history or an English class. And in business, I, I noticed a lot of the language is very focused on image. And as I'm doing the marketing segment in UGBA 10, that's becoming more and more sensible. Um, I think that they definitely conflict with each other. Business and the image doesn't matter in engineering. And precision doesn't matter in business unless you have the image. Um, I think it's about finding a reconciliation of both, just like we do with English, which I believe is a reconciliation of both to some extent efficiency and carrying on the historical significance. I think that that reconciliation is important because it's never easy to choose between something like efficiency and cultural history. And there are definitely going to be cases where they go against each other. But I think it's important to try and preserve both so that we can move, both move forward as a society without forgetting our past. Um, I think remembering our past is necessary to move forward in the first place.